Let's predict the products of lead 2 nitrate and potassium iodide. So when these two substances react, what do we end up with? So we can see we have a metal here, a group of nonmetals, and then a metal and a nonmetal. This is going to be a double displacement reaction. So by knowing the type of reaction, we can predict the products. Here are the lead and the potassium. They're just going to switch places. So we'll end up with PBI and then KNO3. So these are both ionic compounds. Potassium, that's going to be plus one, and the whole nitrate, that's a one minus. So these charges balance. Over here, we see the lead's bonded to the nitrate. We said the nitrate's one minus. Two times one minus is two minus. So the lead's two plus here. So we'd expect it to be two plus here. Iodine, that's one minus. So we're going to need two of those. So we have PBI2. KNO3, we're good there. So these are the products that we're going to end up with. If you need help figuring out the ionic charges here, there's a link at the end of this video to a video on how to do that, working with this table here, with this chart. Okay, now here's the big problem we have. We need to know if these actually are aqueous or if they're soluble. So you need to know the solubility rules or look at a solubility chart. Video on that at the end as well if you need help. Turns out nitrates are very soluble. So this is going to be aqueous. It's going to stay dissolved, K plus NO3 minus. But lead compounds, when you see lead compounds, there's a good chance they're insoluble. PBI2 is insoluble. So we're going to put an S after it. It's going to be a solid. It falls to the bottom of the test tube as the precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction as well as a double displacement. So that's it. That's how you predict the products of PBNO32 plus Ki, lead 2 nitrate plus potassium iodide. You need to recognize it as a double displacement reaction first, and then you need to get the products, make sure that their charge is balanced, and then you need to figure out if there's a solid, and if there is, it's a precipitation reaction. And this is the precipitate. This is Dr. B. Stuff ain't easy. Thanks for watching.